Hello guys. Hope you're doing good. Just uh, completed the section one of the program. Now uh, we jump into the section two. In this section, we are going to see how we can create the sketches and uh, in a, and extrusion and the three D parts in Creative Five Point Zero. Okay. Uh, first thing which we which we must follow in creating the sketches or the parts is we must first choose the uh, convenient plane for our uh, drawing there are three planes available here uh, as uh, shown here the right top and the front top, uh, three planes are available uh, which indicates the three axes okay uh, we must first choose the convenient uh, plane here uh, in this case I am going to choose the top plane for our sketching so click on the top and uh, uh, the right click options are available and uh, this is the pop-up which uh, shows here okay once you have created a top you go to the sketch option over here over the ribbon after choosing the plane click sketch to uh, perform the sketch operation once you have clicked the sketch uh, and separate the sketch menu will be available uh, be, uh, before or uh, if you uh, if you not perform the operation the sketch menu would not be available so you must uh, re-perform the task okay after completing this the sketch axis will be displayed here uh, which indicates the plane which we are going to work on okay uh, once it is uh, done uh, you go to the graphic toolbar and uh, select the options option called as sketch view to focus only on the chosen plane click on the sketch view and it will focus only on the top plane which we are going to uh, create the objects okay uh, these are the basic uh, tools or basic options which we are going to use or which is most commonly used by all of the people for the uh, sketch creation okay or the 2d uh, uh, drawing now uh, we'll be seeing uh, one by one so click on the line uh, uh, there are many lines available uh, if you click on the drop down there will be available line chain and the line tangent um, all are more more often same so first click on the line you can choose anywhere over here just draw it and afterwards like this once you create please once you have finished the operation click escape uh, so that uh, this is the basic uh, line diagram available the best part of creative is uh, if the created uh, uh, sketch is complete it uh, if you press the middle button of the or the scroll button of the mouse it will highlight uh, the uh, closed figure in the pink view so uh, we, we shall see now whether the created object is a closed one or an open one click on the center mouse button see our object is not a closed one because if you zoom into it this section of the up, uh, sketch is incomplete because there is no close for it if you want to delete this extra option you can choose delete segment option or the icon over editing ribbon okay this is the delete segment one click on this and just uh, it is like a zigzag draw uh, you can see select or drag over entities to trim okay uh, this option is called uh, also known as trim for in autocad so people who have worked uh, prior to, uh, in autocad they might uh, know it just drag over here okay now see the unwanted option or unwanted uh, entities has been trimmed so zoom out and now click the middle button see the closed one has been uh, highlighted over here okay now we have finished the line oh, now uh, we move on to the rectangle uh, we have created the rectangle by using the line itself so we can create the rectangle we just uh, there are uh, three options available corner rectangle so corner rectangle means from one corner to another corner so first we have uh, initialized this one and after one we have initialized the opposite corner so this is known as the corner to corner rectangle if you want uh, and another one is a slanted rectangle so just click somewhere 
see after uh, performing the single side we can easily uh, parallel by using the parallel options or uh, by creating the parallel one we can create a slanted rectangle right okay now the window is complicated so first we can delete uh, deleting is also a very easy task just to select all the one the selected components will be highlighted in green click the delete button finished the next one is the center rectangle so first we need to initialize the center and then we can create a rectangle okay the last one is the parallelogram create somewhere similar to the one so, uh, initialize the two points so that it will create a parallelogram just drag and drop wherever you want okay simple okay now the next one is the circle click on the circle just uh, choose the center point of the uh, circle you can create once you finished click escape uh, we can change the dimension as well so this is uh, our random circle has the radius of uh, approximately to 126 mm double click on the dimension uh, text box will be displayed where you can change that to the desired one uh, in this case i'm going to put 25 click enter it will be changed click the sketch here okay uh, you can uh, zoom to the object creator by using the refit icon over here click on the refit it uh, since the total object is like uh, highlighted in the rectangle it just zooms out or zooms in over here okay uh, this is the 25 diameter, 25 mm diameter circle with which we have created so as of now we have completed line rectangle in the circle now we shall uh, discuss the arc clean up the surface okay uh, okay now we shall discuss the uh, arc option here this is the three point arc so uh, in order to create this three point arc first we need to uh, initialize the first point and we need to initialize the last point so that uh, uh, if we have initialized the first and the final point the arc will be created and the, the third point we can determine where it should be so first initialize the first point and they initialize the last point now we can see that the arc has been created now uh, wherever if you want the third point can be determined so you can roam over and you can uh, you can have the feeling of the arc okay once you, you feel this is the correct click make a mouse click this is the final option final arc okay click exit you will see the dimensions of the arc uh, you can change this according to your wish. Click 15. Okay, now you can see that the option has been replaced. Okay, our right, this one. We will now see the ellipse. For the ellipse, uh, uh, the ellipse option has been chosen. Click on the first point and click on the second point. That is the last corner of the point. Once you you can uh, drag you can drag or hover over the screen to select the height of the ellipse. Okay. Once you have finished, click OK and click exit. This is the basic A dimension and this is the basic B dimension. So once you have created any random ellipses, you can change these dimensions. So the A is 50 and they have the B that is the height is the 20 this is the basic thing the basic ellipse right uh, accordingly we can create the options hmm? this brings the end of the session the remaining uh, sketching tools will be discussed in the next lecture have a great day bye